right, it's time to celebrate. It is the premiere of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. This is opening day. The movie has officially been unleashed, and it just warms my heart to see all this merchandise, action figures, Target exclusives, collectibles, all over the toy aisle. And I've been coming all week, month long. Everything here I have already found. And you can see all that and all um, everything that's gonna follow this. But there are a few things here that I didn't find for the basic collection that I was excited about. I did find Bebop before. He is uh, voiced by Seth Rogen in the movie. And uh, you can see by his mutant menace meter, he's only got three stars there indicating he's not really a big threat to the turtles, so no surprise there. But yeah, for the first time, I did find Rocksteady on opening day, and he is voiced by WWE superstar John Cena, and that's the second WWE superstar to voice this character. The other was Sheamus in um, the movie that came out. I can't even really remember when that movie came out, but... Um, he, it, that was a live action movie and he did that one there. So let's take a look. Lock steady, built like a tank. He's pure mutant muscle, whether it's from his fist or his horns, you do not want to take a hit from this guy. He and Bebop make a dangerous duo, but their brains are what some may consider small, even for morons. So, again, mutant menace meter, not so high. I mean, the turtles can easily dispose of this guy. Um, so they didn't really differentiate too much from these characters. They're still pretty stupid because some of them they did give different attributes to, such as um, Michelangelo in the movie, he wants to be a stand-up comedian, and Raphael wants to be um, an MMA star. So some different things going on there. Um, but these guys, they kept true to form, still idiotic in every way possible. The one thing I did find funny was um, for Leonardo, it says that he wants to be a fearless leader, which he already is. I mean, unless he wants to be like president of the United States. I mean, in that case, he would make a really good job. I mean, I would vote for this guy. I mean, over what our current landscape looks like. Leo for president all day, he'd do a great job. Uh, the other two figures I've found for the first time are, or yeah, I just saw him, he had leather head. The Raging Cajun Gator, voiced by Rose Byrne in the movie, so that's interesting. It looks it's very similar to how I remember him. Uh, also, not too high in the mutant menace meter there, but he is proud to be a mutant and all in on Superfly's plan to make more of them. They are down for causing destruction and mayhem, especially if it means getting to make a few big boombas. That's interesting. Make more of Leatherhead or make more of this guy? Superfly. So this is the final character from the set that I needed to find. The Fly Guy, I think voiced by Ice Cube. I think he is the main villain in the movie. There is no Shredder or Krang, so that's interesting. But if you look here, he does have five stars in the Mutant Menace meter. A highly intelligent humanoid fly, Superfly has lived in hiding his entire life, slowly amassing power in the criminal underworld. He's clever, charismatic, and confident. And behind those eyes lies a sinister plan that is unlike anything the turtles have faced before. There you go. So I think he is the main villain. And it's, it's all these mutants here. Rocksteady, Bebop, Superfly, Leatherhead, no Shredder or Krang. So that is interesting. Maybe they'll be in the sequel. You know, obviously the, if this movie does well, which it seems like it's going to, they'll be one of those. The only other interesting thing I found was Splinter is voiced by Jackie Chan. That's going to be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that. But, but yeah, everything else um, I have found, and you're going to see all that right now. So enjoy the video. This is going to be pretty long. If you make it through the end, I'll give you a shout out in my next video. And stay tuned to the end if you make it there because I will be doing a collection review for my original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figure collection from the animated series that started it all. And of course, I'll be joined by Chip the Cat. So sit back, relax, and try not to get shell-shocked by all these awesome All right, we're on the road to the release of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. 
the movie is out in about a month, but I've learned my lesson and I'm checking out Target early and frequently, especially with the Ninja Turtles, because that's one of my favorite franchises. And I'm really excited about this movie. I think it's going to be big. But let's see what they have here. So Target does have this end cap. You can see only a Target, the making of a ninja. And there's Master Splinter right there. So that's interesting. I really don't know what that is yet. I'm going to have to um, look into that and see what that really is, the making of the ninja. But there's not too much stuff here. There's a few giants and I've seen these things plenty of times. I, I, I'm really shocked that Target's having a hard time getting rid of these things. But they do have Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael still chilling. Uh, I think these are great. They're $24.99 and at Wally World they're down to $19.99 and they have them. The reason why Michelangelo is not here is he is an exclusive so you can only get him at Walmart and to score him for 20 bucks. And There are plenty of them there. I was at Wall Wally World pretty recently. I don't film in there because they blast the music so you can't even hear yourself think, but there's plenty of them there, so he is available. And uh, we're seeing more of these now. These are the basic um, re Playmates re-release of this re-release collection. And uh, here we got some villains, and there's more on that side as well, but they have Shredder and Krang. So uh, these are nice that um, we're stopping to see these guys again. So pretty pumped to see all this uh you know the release of the classic ninja turtle collection that's really really great and down here there is a 44.99 so 45 dollars for these here that's a giant target exclusive leonardo and i'm wondering if they're going to have giants of all the turtles but um here they do have leo in stock i wouldn't recommend getting this one as you can see the thing is punctured but um, let's take a look see what else is in this collection collect them all so here we go we got leonardo april o'neill superfly wondering if that's baxter stockman donatello michelangelo raphael and the splinter so i'm not sure how many of these giants there are but we do know that they do have leonardo the leader of the group and you know, I don't really mind how um, they've made them look. They've kind of distinguished them a little bit. Raphael has got the um, bandana over his whole head. Donatello definitely has like his uh, geeky looking glasses going. Leo is still the leader. And of course, Mikey looks like he's ready to party and have a great time. So yeah, it's pretty decent. So over here, and this all this stuff says $25 and under. So that's good news, right? So they have more of these, um, uh, the original collection Playmates re-released as Leatherhead, so I guess these are $14.99. They are cheaper at Wally World. Just, just putting it out there. Sorry, Target, but I think at Walmart you can get them for $11.99. So they got Leatherhead, Krang, who we just saw, is Rocksteady, Master Splinter. And, wow, wow, there's Bebop there. It's awesome. So I have some. And again, these are really cheap, $24, $25 an hour. This is actually a really good deal. These are going to be, these will definitely work, be worth a lot more uh, once these are gone. And then here we got the Shredder. There's another Bebop. Donatello, a storage shell. And now the Master Splinter right there. It's crazy. I used to have all of these, um, you know, way back in the day. I obviously opened them. Um, it myself now because those are worth a lot more never should open them up and these are also $14.99 so these are ninja shouts so oh wow power shout and punction action so we got Raphael pull and remove tag to activate me so I'm not gonna do that but if one is pulled out we'll check it out so this one looks like somebody already did the deed let's hear it are you guys pumped <laughs> what? Get off my back! <laughs> Let's go! Wow, it's actually my first time hearing that. I haven't seen any of the trailers for this at all, so that's an exclusive right there. You know, I haven't heard any of these guys talk at all. I really haven't seen much. But they got Raph, face Leo. Let's hear him. Let's hear from him. These guys, these guys look wild. Oh, he's belted in. Can't even do it. Look at it. Oh, pull his leg. Also, they're all pull arm, pull leg. Follow my lead. Good work, team. 
Oh, Raptor just pulled his own. Yeah, no. This is blowing my mind. So I guess they're all different. Leo, you can pull his leg and his arm. Raph, you just pull his arm. And that's all they have here. Yeah, there's everybody there. Pull arms or legs, activate sounds, hold them back to extend effects. Ninja shouts. And there's everybody. Then you can go to YouTube channel, you can follow them. And after you follow them, please follow my channel. I'm a genius. Tapo, Cowabunga. Talk about mutant mayhem. You'll get more than an airfall from these turtle brothers if you mess with their mean green crime frightened team. Throw a punch, I'll land a kick to hear the ninjas shout some of their iconic catchphrases from Cowabunga to Totally Turtles. I can see parents getting real annoyed with those, so <laughs> I hope kids all over are uh, having fun with these. And then here's a, another. Um, Looks like this is a Nick. Well, I thought this was a Target exclusive, but it's not. So it's a Raphael with the battle cycle, and he's got his helmet on there. Of course, you want to, you know, make sure uh, you don't, um, you know, get hurt. We got Leonardo as well. There we go. Ninja kick. So, so Raphael's got a battle cycle. Leonardo has a ninja kick cycle. Ninja kick cycle includes exclusive Leo with the helmet, and this one's got Raph with the helmet. Yeah, I look pretty cool right there. That's nice. I like that card. Battle Cycle Raphael. Team up with Raph to take down villains on the move with the turtles. A new Battle Cycle as Raph stares the cycle through the streets. One of his brothers can battle at his side and from behind. A transformable sidecar. Turtle style. Two ways to battle from back to side. Wow, that's pretty cool. There you have it. And let's see if this one's any. They all look different. That's neat. There you go. Wow, look at that leather head right there. And it's Bebop. So I'm, I'm finding things out. So there's some spoilers. These characters are probably obviously in the movie. Yeah, they were. Side to side ninja kick action. Kick evil to occur with this turtles ninja kick cycle. When villains take to the streets, Leo kicks into action. A simple pull of the pizza pie lever. And Leo kicks from side to side. Perfect for grabbing takeout and then taking out the baddies. Wow, there you go. So those are decent. Those are $24.99. We'll look at maybe they just have Leo and Raph. They might not have anybody else, but we'll keep an eye on that. Oh, and I should mention this down here. Of course, just like Guardians and Spider-Man, Transformers, they do have their light up walkie talkies, turtle style. Alright, there you have it. So, you know, don't be left out if uh, you know you weren't a fan of any of those other movies and you're a fan of the turtles and you want to get your walkie talkies, you certainly can. It's just gonna set you back. $25. Yeah. Rest assured they had that for you. And now uh, this is the Ninja Turtle section. Not sure why we've got Halo here, but something's going on there. And uh, you know, the dogs, they're not left out. We even have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle dog toys, so Felix and uh, Bailey will be really happy to hear that. That's dope. My dogs would ruin this thing in two seconds, so I'm not even going to bother with that. That thing would be torn right off. And, I don't want to see Leo get mutilated, so I'm not going to worry about that. And over here, we got some, these are, looks like $14.99. These are plushies, so all they got here is Leo and Mikey. I'm ah, just doing a video off my YouTube channel. Very popular, by the way. Thank you. Um, a lot. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> It's uh, Mortal Kenny, because I'm, I'm, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, so. Oh, right, do it. Oh, do it. Yeah, do it up. Mortal do it up. Kenny. Yeah, okay, you got, got it. You, awesome. Guys, awesome. The Mortal Kenny. You know, those, these kids, they know what's up. They know what's up over here. So, yeah, they only got two of these guys here. I just got Leo and uh, Mikey, but uh, again, I, I do like how they look. I think this movie's going to be a big hit, especially for the kids, and, you know, that's, that's who's going to see the movies now. I mean, Spider-Man just crushed it super mario crushed it i think this turtle movie is going to do the same thing i mean think of like indiana jones flop buster the flash a flop buster this turtle movie it's gonna it's the real deal so the only a couple more things they have here this thing is obviously uh looks like it's a big deal it is 50 bucks it's a remote controlled cowabunga skate raphael Finding a lot of Raphael stuff here. I think they're really gonna make him into uh, the guy for this movie. So it's a full functioning remote control. I do like the card there. Looks pretty cool. 
ramp included for rad skate tricks. That's pretty cool. The Psy is the controller. All right, I'm really liking this. You move around like a real skater. Look at that. That is pretty cool. You know, if I was a kid, I'd be all over this thing. I mean, what am I saying? I still might be all over this thing. I just don't have $50 to drop on it, but and I would not open it. But everybody else is going to want to do that. So let's see what it says here. Busting out of the New York sewers are four bodacious brothers ready to kick butt. Born from mysterious mutant news. These tubular turtles and their radical rat dad, come on, just say Splinter at this point, have trained in the art of ninjutsu to become a bad guy bashing super team. With their buddy April O'Neil, they're about to face the gnarliest mutants the world has ever seen. There they are. So, I don't know if they, this just might be Raphael. I don't know if they're going to have the other four. And probably for collectors, that's a good thing because if you had to buy all four of these, it's going to cost you $200. And you're not going to be as jovial as they are looking here. But this is pretty cool. This, uh, I'm not sure if this is, this is pretty cool. Not sure if this is $12.99. I doubt that it is. But this is a little people collector. Never seen this before. I thought these were like Funkos. But um, let's check it out. So you got the whole gang is all here. And hey, Shredder. Shred your way out of this. So I don't think that it is. No, it's Fisher Price Mattel Creation. So this is, yeah, it's not. There you go, Fisher Price. Yep, you're gonna have a Fisher Price themed pizza. Maybe that's coming soon. But yeah, it looks like to me, I thought that was Funko, but I was wrong. And uh, here we go. Here's a take on Ninja Turtle Rock and Sockum Robots, in my opinion. It's a battle arena. I love the old school logo right there. It looks like an arcade game. Really like how this works. Mini battling action warriors. This includes exclusive Leonardo and Shredder. And you got real 35 battle effect sound effects too bad we can't hear those but if, i think if i open this thing up i would be thrown out of here in two seconds so am i willing to do that for this channel i am but you know i do like to come here a lot so i don't want to ruin uh a good thing that i got going here but this is cool it includes four arena backgrounds you got the technodrome there it looks like there's a party wagon oh wow there's krang just looks like kind of like the video game the sewer and ready fight split strike there you go oh then they got everybody you, got, you can get other people too i don't see these guys here but they got Raphael, krang leonardo rocksteady mikey bebop donnie baxter stockman so this could be something that um the kids really get into and finally this looks real rad so this is uh, i think 20 bucks it's an 18 pack we'll go over everybody in here nano Metal figures die cast again. I love the old school artwork here. Let's take a look at everybody you get. So we got Raphael, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, Splinter, and April O'Neil in their classic form. And you got Casey Jones, the Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady, a couple of foot soldiers, and down here. And even some more foot so you got like four foot soldiers it's got, they, they should have put a little more villains in there maybe just do one foot soldier and throw three other villains in there but you also get a triceraton infantry krang and slash so like you know instead of uh those four you could have thrown leatherhead in there baxter stockman for example you know all those foot soldiers is a little much but it's still pretty cool and it's uh twenty dollars so that's not bad that's a look at everybody else over here you know like have the rat king in there or something you know these you know, maybe differentiated a little bit but this is pretty cool i mean they're small but i can see some collectors really being into that so but that's it that's all that's here for the ninja turtle so far i'm gonna be checking this movie's coming out in uh, about less than a month so i'll be here every week and i'm sure there's going to be more action figures added to this but uh off to a good start off to a good start but we'll see uh what else they have i'm gonna go check out um the other section and check it out from there all right here we go hey anyway, hold on a minute we got a special special message for all you people out there on youtube go ahead if you don't subscribe you're not cool there you go now you gotta do it all right thank you wow okay a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is here and is taking over Target in all departments, not even including the toy department, but just everywhere else. I mean, take a look at all these. These are plush pillows. And uh, this is why I'm not a home decor like decorator, because if I was, I would have 
suggest that people place these all over their homes. Like, you know, maybe put this Donatello in your computer room, right? Maybe, you know, he could help you there. Maybe put Leonardo, like, uh, right as you walk in the door, you know? Maybe place Raphael, you know, like in the romper room, right? Or, you know, maybe you can have Rocksteady and Bebop, um, you know, sitting chilling in your kitchen, probably the dinner table preferably. They might enjoy that. Uh, they also have these really cool here, hooded blankets. So they got Michelangelo's not here. You do have them uh, represented here. They also have a Leonardo edition. I mean, that could be you right there if you decide to pick this up. Um, there's also a twin sheet set for your bed. You know, who wouldn't like that? It's pizza time all the time. And there's also even a Microsoft twin <laughs> microfiber. <laughs> Microsoft, what is this, a video game here? This is a microfiber twin comforter. I mean, it's super comfy, so, you know, Raphael, he's endorsing that. And then, you know, when you're playing your video games, here is your Leonardo-themed little pillow there to keep you upright. And not to be undone, here is a Donatello, looks like a waste paper basket that's also hiding a some type of turtle uh, sleeping bag in there or something, so. This is crazy, you know, uh, mutant mayhem is taking over, it's everywhere, and uh, we're just getting started. This is just the home decor section. Let's go check out some of the toys we can get there before seeing something else. All right, guys, all right. All right, so today's a special day. This is uh, when they've actually officially started selling the tickets to the Mutant Mayhem movie. So we are getting closer and we're at another Target. So let's see if this one has anything different and I'm already seeing some things that I haven't seen yet. So uh, I did show off uh, a Rock'em Sock'em robot set in uh, one of the previous videos. This is it right here. So I, um, I was wondering where these other figures are that collect them all and now I'm seeing them. I do like these cards. So this is a Donatello versus Baxter Stockman. Many battling actually war action warriors. My money's on Donnie here. I mean, come on, all day. Baxter Stockman. He don't stand a chance. But in addition to that, they also have um, Leonardo versus Rocksteady. Obviously, Leo has got to take that right. No, I don't think Rocksteady has any chance. And then up here. Get out of that out of the way. We got Mikey versus Bebop. Yeah, you know, maybe Bebop might be able to take him if Mikey, uh, you know, had too many pizzas. And it looks like that's all they have here. So there, I, that might, I think that might be it. Although there's a Krang somewhere, so I haven't seen that one yet. But um, so they are selling those separately, and uh, many of them are here. I do love the artwork. That reminds me of the old school cartoon. Uh, this one I really love here. This is the first time I'm seeing this. A pizza blaster remote controlled and it launches pizzas. So this kind of reminds me of the pizza mobile they had back in the day. And you can see there is a Mikey in there. Uh, there's a Donnie and a Leo there. But I think those might just be stickers. Let's see. This thing's pretty decent though. So the pizza controller is pretty cool. Shoots foam pizzas. Sorry. Not real ones, guys. It includes 10 pizzas also. So, hey, at least you're not wasting food right there. That's pretty decent. And it's only going to set you back $35. So, uh, and then you can see there's the controller right there. Here's some of the pizzas. Feel nice and uh, foamy. And I do have a couple of those in stock. So, those are the new ones uh, that I've seen here so far. Let's see what else they got. All right, I made it to the collector's spot, and there are some new TMNT figures I haven't seen here. Coming for the first time ever. Check this thing out, the Colossus of the Swamp. And look at that, look at Rocksteady and Bebop. They don't even know what the heck is going on here. This looks pretty cool, pretty slimy. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this. So I have these punk frogs. I have them all, Attila, Napoleon, Rasputin, Genghis, but look at this one, I mean, wow, this is like gigantic, you know, I think this is based on an episode for sure, I think this is probably Napoleon, there you go, Napoleon Bonafrog, Floridian, Amphibian, Punk, there you go, I'm not going to read that whole thing, but I do want to see what it says there later, so yeah, so look at this, I mean, this must be 
This is definitely based on an episode of the cartoon series. This is volume 10, and this thing is huge. So this is Napoleon, and he must have just got transformed. Oh, that's there. interesting. I think that's what happened. Two packed on and Lucas. Funny. If this was based more around the original slash toy instead of the cartoon model, I might actually consider getting it. Oh, can I check that out real quick? Let me just put. Yeah, I haven't seen this either. I have seen some of these, these BST AX. I'm not really familiar with these. It does look kind of cool, but I do love Slash. I mean, he looks cool there. But that one goes in the dark. Oh, does it really? Yeah. Limited edition collector card. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh wow. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's dope. Originally, Bebop's Pet Turtle. Slash an even mutant ninja turtle created by Rocksteady due to the chores that were assigned to him by the Shredder. He's obsessed with palm trees, especially his binky, the plastic palm tree from his pet bowl. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, you never saw the episode? I did. I didn't know that. I can't. It's been so long. You yeah. know what I mean? He goes around on a rampage going, my binky, where is my binky? <laughs> that's funny. Oh, is it April here too? Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Now, you don't really see a lot of Aprils out in the wild, so it's, uh, it's definitely decent. Looks pretty cool here. Can you get a scale with Casey? That one, I I would love to find the April with that. It's not around. Because that 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 was, uh, people were looking for that for so long. Now they got tons of them. But the April with the bashed foot soldier is nowhere to be found. And that one's worth some money. That one's like, goes for like big time cash. But this looks cool for April fans out there. April's a quick-witted television news reporter of Channel 6 News. She's the turtle's most loyal human ally and most often their link to the outside world. She looks a lot different in the Mutant Mayhem movie, and I'm okay with that. You know, I think that each movie, you know, no one, not all the characters have to look the same. They can distinguish them any way they want. Hopefully the movie's just pretty cool. And then this is one from the comic book here. I've seen this a bunch of times. Like she's all covering grease in that movie. By Mutant Mayhem? Yeah. It's yeah. Gross. Here's a Mikey from the mute. Here's a pop. See some of these over here. So the only ones I still have to find for this are April, the Superfly, and Donatello. Good talking to you, man. Yeah. But that looks like that's it. For the Ninja Turtles here. We do have a Zack and Smash and a Wingnut and Screw Loose, but and plenty of the TMNT versus Stranger Things. But some newer figures here. We do have the Colossus of the Swamp. BST, April, the Slash. Oh wow, and here we go here. I'm glad I found this one. Look at this one too. Here's a Casey Jones. So this is battle damaged Casey Jones. I've never seen a Casey Jones look like this before. I mean, I, when I think Casey, that's what I'm used to seeing, but look at that. And another take on him. He looks crazy here. I wonder if this is like, it may be like a chase figure. Casey Jones, a hot-headed vigilante who stalks the streets of New York City ready to stop crime with his hockey mask, hockey stick, and baseball hat. He teams up with the Turtles and becomes one of the greatest human allies. I love Casey Jones in the original movie. He's absolutely awesome. I've never seen Casey look like that. Very interesting. Different take on him. Hey, I'm calm with that. I think it looks pretty cool. Not sure if he's in the new movie. There is no pop for Casey. Hopefully he is because he was all over um, the old movies, uh, the original Ninja Turtle um, movies from the 90s. But if hey, if he's not, he's not. I mean, you're not gonna be able to get every character. There's way too many. I mean, I doubt Wingnut and Screw Loose are in there. I don't think we'll see the Neutrinos. And um, I don't know. Maybe we'll see a Foot Soldier or two. I mean, they gotta make an appearance in it, right? All right, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. We're less than one week out uh, movies coming out uh, just days away it's time to celebrate and this target here has a lot of things in stock that I have not seen before I'm pretty excited about some of these figures let's start with this here this one I've been looking for and they have a, a lot of these here at least five of them and uh, this is a Count them one, two, three, four, five, six pack. The oozing, cruising figures comes into this really cool turtle van box. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen so far in terms of, you know, a completionist trying to get all of these characters. Here you get all four turtles Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello. He's driving the vehicle right there. As you can see, hello. And uh, yeah, and then we also have April O'Neil. It's my first time finding her. She obviously looks a lot different than her classic character. And uh, Bebop. 
There he is there. He looks like he's got the word wow tattooed on him. That was my uh, expression when I found this here. So this is pretty neat. Love the box. You even got the pizza on the top there. And there's the whole crew. Let's see him in action. And you can see him on the big screen, just days away. Oozing crews and figures. These figures won't be taking any orders when evil mutants create mayhem in New York. It's up to Team Green to deliver justice. Bebop is cruising for a bruising by taking on April and the Turtles. So yeah, if you grab this, all you gotta find is rock steady, and then you'd have basically you'd be off to a good start with the set right there. So yeah, also here I been seeing these advertise the making of a ninja and I, I did find one of these here let's get this Mario Kart out of here that movie is already on demand you can already see that but this is it here so this is my first time finding this Whoop. it's um, the making of a ninja and it looks like they're gonna have every one of these guys here here's Leonardo and it does come with three glow-in-the-dark turtle figures so you get the real, you know, you get the turtle before he gets mutated, then you get, I guess, the baby mutated turtle, and then the teenage ninja turtle, so you get the whole evolution right there, right? And there was a really cool set way back was the evolution of Leonardo, and it had, like, I think, like, eight Leonardo figures. That was really great, but this, you know, it's pretty cool. If you missed out on that, it's very expensive. The ship sailed on that if you're trying to grab it. Uh, not paying eBay prices. There you go. So there's everybody, trained day and night with Leo's glowing mutation. After the baby turtles fall into the sewer and are doused with toxic ooze, they grow into glowing turtle tots who train in their lair and become teenage mutant ninja turtles. So I guess this movie, you know, a little bit of a spoiler here, it is gonna give you the whole evolution of, you know, the turtles falling, uh, you know, down, getting some ooze put on them and then becoming, uh, the ninjas, so very decent right there. And then, it's, it's very true, thank you. <laughs> that's, that's a good spot. Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah. I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Obviously, yeah. So um and then if you look here, they do have a lot of these guys here. You got Leonardo and you got Raphael. Let's show him off. So let's put this over here. And there he is there, and uh, you can, you can, we can compare the body types. Ralph, Raphael, a lot bigger than uh, Leonardo, so they are distinguishing them, so they don't all look the same. I mean, these all do. The only thing different here is a little color on them to know that that's who the character is. So there's Raphael, and that's what he looks like. So still have to find Mikey and Donnie, and then we'll get the whole set. And then you can describe to them right there. But you can subscribe to me also at Marvel Kenny, so don't forget to do that. Uh, in addition to that, they do have these too. It's my first time finding any of these. This is the basic uh, figure collection. And uh, some of these are these same figures. So, you know, if you get this, you may not want to grab these. Or you may want to, or vice versa, maybe you want these and don't want to get this because, hey, you got the same figure right here, Raphael, as a turtle tot. And then you get Mikey as well. So there you go, and I think there's a Leo also. So there's Leo and Donnie, so that's what Donnie looks like, and that's what Mikey looks like, if you could find their making of a ninja. But you can choose which ones you want. There's so many action figures here. I mean, it's like, you know, the sky's the limit on these. And in addition to that, they do have a few others. There's Donatello. And I like how they do have the biographies here is kind of a throwback to the original cards you can you, they had this you could uh, clip and collect cut them out and do whatever you want with them there we go not afraid to let you know it his intellectual self-assuredness may come across as arrogance but it's just that his brain is thinking so many steps ahead that he's paralyzed with the decision dream to be a game developer by day k-pop star by night that's different and you know i know in one of the shows i think it was uh in the early 2000s donnie was the one who was interested in april o'neill so i guess they changed that uh, so there we go they got donnie here here's mikey they got him they also got raf let's check them out so michelangelo the comedian so they changed that around right he was a party dude now he's a comedian 
too bad his brothers don't think that he's funny though. He might not be the best at ninjutsu or waking up on time or even hygiene, but you can always count on Mikey's positive attitude. He wants to be a stand-up comic. That's interesting. That's new. I mean, you know, I can give him some tips. I mean, I've done some stand-up comedy and, you know, a lot of people didn't think I was funny as well. So don't give up, Mikey. All right. And then you got Raphael here. He's the only one that sort of looks a little bit different with that mask. Let's see what they say about him. He likes to break things. Right? In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard they throw up. But beneath his hard head and touch exterior is a sensitive turtle just looking for someone to talk to. He wants to be a mixed martial arts fighter. Uh, maybe Casey Jones will be in the movie and he can be that guy that Ralph can uh, lend a hand on. Maybe he should take up pro wrestling. I think he'd be good at that. Look at that. I did find some other cool uh, Ninja Turtle figures here while I was leaving. And this is um, something I've never seen before. An ultimate Battle Surprise. Ninja Reveal. So you got Michelangelo set here. You got the nunchucks and the you know, little... Um, bandana or a mask or whatever you want to call it and then you get an ultimate battle surprise you got everybody you can get leo mikey raf donnie the only ones here are mikey and oh they got leonardo there there you go so he's there too so it's just more stuff that you can kind of collect i'd hate to be a completionist trying to get all this stuff because your head is gonna spin i mean it's, you gotta get four of almost everything and I don't I haven't been to one I've been to a lot of these targets and I don't think one has had all four of anything so good luck but right, here's the Donatello one here so you do have three out of the four here there's Donatello and uh, this is also a figure I haven't seen yet um, this guy here in Lotus so and then she's got the Lotus flower there so admittedly again I do not remember these characters in the cartoon series which these are from but if you do remember them you can let me know in the comments and uh, take a shot at me if you want but there you go so they are still even you know NECA is getting these uh cartoon figures out as well so ninja turtles everything you can get movie figures you get original playmates figures you can get the NECA cartoon series figures street style figures teenage monster series figures and ninja turtle mania right now so there you have it all right let's see what else we can find get that all right now we're getting even closer we're just days away and this target turning it up a notch in addition to that standee there now we have this one in the middle and let's go by there all your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle mutant mayhem needs out in the open. I remember when they had this for Jurassic Park. That was totally cool. They got everything here for you. You can even get yourself a t-shirt. Uh, most I've seen, this stuff I've, I've seen before, but um, not this though. And you know, you got poster books. You got all the original action figures here. Just got everything. They've got it all covered. This movie is going to be a huge hit. Pizza rolls, dog toys down here. Look at that. Even they didn't even forget the dogs. And then this is totally decked out. Most of this stuff, I've seen all this stuff before. Nothing really new here. I haven't seen. I've been looking for the bad guys, the villains. Oh, here we go. There is one here. So it's my first time finding the Bebop. Let's see what they say about him. Bebop may be jacked up. He might be a jacked up warthog, but he likes to roll in style. He's always sporting some killer shades and is never too far from a boombox. All right, he likes to rock. That's how they're changing him up. Still would like to find Rocksteady and Leatherhead. I've not seen them yet. And I, I'm not sure if Shredder's even in this movie. I mean, I have no idea. I haven't seen anything from him at all, but we'll have to, you know, you don't have to wait too much longer. This movie's coming out in days. And these are also cool. This is this is this making of a ninja here. This is a mutating Ralph. Form altering foot fighter. Oh, I love that. That's cool. I thought this was kind of like from the movie, but this is like the from the old school playmates, it looks like. Hey kids, here's the secret to the mystery of the mutation. Follow these steps to create the most powerful mutants in the world. There's a lot of these. Put them. Let's see if they got them all. Ralph is Leo. You know, hey, they look just like the original collect collection, just a lot bigger and bulkier. Leo, Ralph, Ralph. I keep saying Ralph, Raph, Ralph. There we go. 
that's all they got. They just got those two here. But um, hey, don't despair. Still a few days to go. Might be able to find them. And down here, they got the Giants. And I'm just trying to see. The only ones I have not seen yet are Mikey and Donnie. And looks like that is going to continue. I do not have anybody else extra. And over here, um, this, oh, here we go. A couple new things here is the Splinter Funko Pop from the movie. Again, he looks a lot different than the way I remember him, but still looks, you know, looks decent. Looks like, you know, in line with this movie. So it'll be cool to see how he is. And then this also from the comic book, The Ultimate Foot Ninja. And this one's different than all these other ones that I've seen because it has a sort of, um, a different cover, Velcro cover that you got to open up, and yeah, that's that's nice. They sort of differentiated for this number ten in the line. So an Ultimate Foot Soldier comes with everything you see there, and yeah, that's actually really dope looking. I love it. I think that's really cool. All these weapons, everything you see here, you can really go to town with this thing. It's cool. Looking. There you go. Getting some noob cybot vibes right there. There you go. Splinter, Shredder, Triceraton, dope. And they got itty bitty pops, but those have been ransacked. Look at Casey Jones. I haven't seen that. Uh, yeah, this is like from the old school collection. There's another one there. Nothing really there, but yeah, a lot more they're adding uh, every day to this line. Let's go look at this, even a wallet. And after looking at all these action figures, that's basically what my is gonna look like. Empty, nothing in it. So, <laughs> there you go. Right there, old school, old school designs. I guess they might not. And they even have this thing here. Look at this here, figural bag clip. Oh wow, look at that. You don't know who you're gonna get. It's kind of like a blind box. Right, you don't know who you're gonna get. You could get any of the Turtles, April, Splinter, Bebop, Rocksteady, Superfly. Two exclusives. I guess, you know, one's gotta be Leatherhead, right? I mean, he's the only other one that I know that's in the movie, so. Uh, other than that, you're gonna have to wait and see. You're gonna have to wait, gotta wait. And they also have this here, the Pizza Fire Van. This thing got smashed, but it includes pizza launching action. This is a kind of a throwback also, they had one of you. Back in the day, is Mikey. He's definitely loving life with this thing, I'm sure. So, it's pretty easy to use. One, push the pizza slice. Two, deploy the launcher. And there you go. Fits all your turtle figures. So, all these guys here will fit in this thing. But this doesn't come with that. So, now this, now you can grab this as well. And they also have this as well. Pop Rides, and Leo in the turtle van. This is also Target exclusive. I haven't seen him yet. But they do have... Him here as well. I think that's probably like 40 bucks. I'm really new here. There is these giants. Let's see who they got. And these are $24.99, same price as the Playmates Originals, the re releases. Looks like they just have Leo here, giant Leonardo. So it would be cool to find them all. He is the leader. We've read well enough about that. 12 inches tall, you can see there. He wants to. I got excited when I saw this, but then I just realized that it, it is a bunch of cereal, family size cereal, so now, you know, General Mills is cashing in on this. You can even play a little game. There you go, defeat Bebop and Rocksteady. And that's how you win right there. Yeah, and there's plenty of these in stock, so not sure how collectible it is. And there's even, they got the, some of the movies here, they got the New Mania. This is definitely a pick, this is 15 bucks. Get all the uh, Turtle movies, one, two, and three, and even TMNT, which I'm a huge fan of, actually. Go. Down there, they get the 12-inch giant Raphael here also. So, all I gotta find now is Donnie and Mikey, and that'll be everybody. Includes a twin side. There they are there. Let's check that out. Wow, that looks cool. Raph likes to break things. In fact, his biggest goal is to punch someone so hard. Yeah, I know, we get it. All right. That's why I should be a wrestler. Get food. That's it. Yes, yeah, so that's all they got here. Where did it go? For TMNT, um, we still got a little ways to go before the movie comes out, but a lot of things. This is um, probably the most I've seen so far, and I think as the movie comes out, more and more will be on the way.
And uh, this is also the first time I've ever seen this at Target. We got an open door right in the middle of the store here. So you can go out that way. Maybe they're getting ready for a new TMNT shipment. I think I'm gonna stick around and see what they're gonna be bringing in through this forbidden door. All right, well, let's see what else we can find. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed all those uh, Target toy hunts and finding everything we can for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. The movie is now playing in theaters. Hope everybody enjoys it. I'm definitely going to go see it. Not sure how it's going to be, but it is the Ninja Turtles, so I've seen everything, and that trend will continue with this movie. Hopefully it's good. I am looking forward to seeing it, but uh, at the end of the video, I did want to do one collection review, and I am joined by Chip the Cat, a.k.a. the Teenage Mutant Ninja Kitty, TMNK. You can also say that about me, I guess, for this video. You can call me Teenage Mutant Ninja Kenny. And, you know, the Ninja Turtles, if you follow this channel, you'll know that I have done several reviews, action figures. I have the arcade one-up, original arcade game. Before, right now, currently, Mortal Kenny, I'm obsessed with Mortal Kombat. But before that, my first obsession was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, as you can see here. I was obsessed with the cartoon, the original cartoon in the eight, aired in the late 80s. The movies that came out, the first, especially the first two, part one and Secret of the Ooze, those were probably the most excited I've ever been to see a movie. So I, I go back a long way with the Ninja Turtles. And my dad uh, actually dug out some of my original action figures that I had and I was looking through this, he put them, he put them in this slot bucket here, very nice of them. But you know, it, it makes me want to cry because I'm like, oh my God, I wish that I, why did I ever open these? These are worth a ton of money if they're still intact. But also I spent many hours uh, playing with these toys and you know, they just brought me so much fun and enjoyment. So, you know, I can't get too upset, but I just wish that I did, um, you know keep these things intact but you know i can't even sell these things are so beat up and i was uh, you know that kind of just not really that great i mean i don't know what i'm gonna do with them I mean, they're just sort of a relic of my childhood but let's go through them and see what is in here what's in the bucket what do you say chip you ready to do that all right let's do it here so let's <laughs> it's quite an assortment of figures in here start with slash right here there we go original slash I had, I'm, I'm happy to have the um, a couple of new Slash figures uh, from the NECA line. I have the cartoon um, that's with Leatherhead and one from Turtles in Time, pixelated. What do you think about that? But yeah, we still got him. That's pretty cool. Love Slash. Always been a uh, great one. Look at this one here. One of the punk frogs. I think this is Napoleon missing his, <laughs> missing his two arms. Not sure what happened there. Must, maybe he got in a battle with Slash. So you're going to find a lot of those like that in here, Chip, that um, are not complete, unfortunately. <laughs> Just means we had a lot of fun. His wing nut. You can now find him. You, they can't even get rid of him uh, off the shelves at Target with Screw Loose. Here is Usagi Yojimbo. Here we go. And I was happy to find him. I got the brand new NECA version of him. I had to uh, wrestle it from... Um, my friend there in one of the videos I, I fooled him gave him like a powerpuff girl toy and he gave it to me but i was happy to get that one that's pretty cool his ace duck you can tell you uh, i've seen some better days there <laughs> this is kind of like sticky too i don't know if a chip that really uh these are really in rough shape i wonder if these things are even in the condition they are are worth any money at all you guys can let me know that in the comments uh you know again i'm not even gonna sell these i'm just hanging on to these as a relic here we go, the Shredder. Yes, making his appearance. Not sure, he doesn't have his cape. I know that he didn't look like this when he came in the package. But um, it's pretty cool to have him there. And again, I'm not even sure if he's in the brand new movie Mutant Mayhem. I mean, he might not be, right? I mean, Shredder's not a mutant. Maybe this is just all about the mutants, you know? Uh, what do you think, Chip? Do you think uh, we'll see the Shredder get splintered in this new movie? I don't know about that. Let's keep going. Got April O'Neil. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like she's been through a war. I can even turn her head around. It's like almost uh, an exorcist version of April there. Look at that. 
She's been through it all. And she's still going, though. Still looking pretty good. Let's see, we got Mutagen Man here. He looks decent. You know, he looks... Nothing really wrong with him here. It's probably one of the ones that's in the better condition out of everybody in this whole set. Michelangelo. Yeah, without his belt. There we go. Now, I probably just got to clean these things up, Chip, you know, and maybe then it, you know, they'd probably look a lot better. Maybe we can get some value there, but we got Mikey. Let's see how many of the original turtles are actually in this. His leather head. Yeah, still look at this. Mouth still opens up. Still rocking after all these years. It's another another one. He's got the belt too. It's another one that's probably in one of the better condition out of everybody here. Still going. Rock steady. There he is. Unfortunately, all the weapons and the hardware that these things came with are long gone. Who knows what landfill they're probably in at this point. We got Space Raphael, Space Cadet Raph. Wow. Okay. I mean, I know. I and I, the sad thing is too. I know. I I've, I've had. I had everybody. I had everybody in the entire set. So this is just like a fragment of what survived. But you know, I had them all. Right. I mean, every single one of them is all the only ones that survived somehow. All right. Here's Donatello. He's got the belt. I mean, it's looking a little rough, but. You know, maybe put on a few pounds over the years. I might be able to, you know, do some magic and get it going on there. But here we go. We got Donnie. Got three out of the four. Hoping we get the whole Turtles clan. Metalhead. Yes. He looks decent. He looks like he's fully intact. Minus any of the weapons or accessories he came with. That looks really shiny. That's one of the better ones. Pretty cool. I'm happy to have the Metalhead from NECA as well. It's a nice figure. All right, Antrax. I never, you know, it's crazy too because now you look back on it after all these years. I don't even have a memory getting this one, but you know, I did have them, so very cool. That's awesome there. Oh, one of the ones that I still have that's in great condition is a Mondo Gecko. It is open, but my one of my friends, Mark Cardillo, Mark from Johnston, shot out from him. He knew I was such a huge Mondo fan, and there was a, a Crazy story about me finding him for the first time in the wild at a Caldor, which is now an R.I.P. Uh, department store. I actually hit it, and my uh, my mom actually <laughs> ended up putting it back. But I begged her, and she ended up buying it for me. But it got lost in time. But he actually gave me his, which he kept in great condition. So it's pretty cool that I have that one. But here's Mondo's skateboard that survived the wreckage. Maybe he'll be in there. We'll give it to Leatherhead at this point. He can sit on it for now. Got a foot soldier. Got a foot soldier here. Still looking good, right? Bashed and smashed after all these years. Still got him. Whoop! Gotta get that. Can't let him fall down. Let's get all these guys popped up. What do you think, Chip? You, what are you, you into these? You excited that I still have these figures after all these years? Oh yeah. Don't worry. They're not gonna. They're not gonna hurt you. They're just old figures. I know. All right, here we go. Leonardo, we got the whole clan. Just like Mikey, no belt with him. But there we go, this is the, the original Fab Four. All right, getting down to the wire though. Here is General Trag. Wow, that's awesome that I have him. I wish I had both of them. I know I, at one point I did, I had the other guy too. Can't think of his name off the top of my head, but yeah, there we go. I think there's only one left, unfortunately, because there's a couple of rubber duckies in here. Did you put those in there? Were those yours? Those rubber duckies? Here you go. Another one of those. <laughs> Not sure what those are or why those are in that chip, but was that a funny joke you wanted to pull on me? And there's one more, and it is just Krang without any sort of body. So, actually, we'll give him Mondo's skateboard so he has something to hold himself up with but yeah there you go that's um what i have from the original collection so i am still happy to have these after all these years but again i just wish that i had everybody and i wish they were in a lot better shape than they are in now but um just goes to show you i can't even tell you how old these are or you know when i got them 
of what's going on. But I ha I mean, when I tell you, I had everybody. So, you know, at least it was kind enough of my dad to find these and put these away for me. Because I certainly do not remember doing it. But um, absolutely crazy. But that's it. That's the end of the video. If you stuck around to this whole video, thank you so much. Me and chip the teenage mutant ninja kitty really appreciate it but uh let me know what you think uh leave me a comment please like the video smash that subscribe button uh, let me know some of the teenage mutant ninja turtles figures you found from mutant mayhem some of the ones that are in your collection let me know some of the rare ones that are out there that i didn't see that i should keep an eye on and try to get and uh but for the most part Enjoy the movie. We hope uh, Mutant Mayhem is a fine addition to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. So, on behalf of myself, my old action figures, and of course, Chip the Cat, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Kitty, we will see you next time. And we hope everybody's having a great summer. All right, me and Chip, we're going to hit the pool. You ready, Chip? Let's go. It is like 90 degrees, time to go swimming. Enough of this toy collecting. You got it.